Good morning, Vinyl Community. It's Glenn Kellaway coming to you from the basement. It is Friday morning. It's been quite a week. Um, for those of you who watched my weekly wrap-up on Monday, you'll have known that my nephew Jack from Jack's Stereo Experience spent uh, a few days with us. We had a great time, man. We listened to a ton of music, played a few games, and just it's uh, so nice to have him here. It's awesome. He's such a cool guy. Um, we went record shopping a couple of days, three day, three times, actually. And uh, I picked up a few albums. I hope Jack's going to do a video on the stuff he got. Uh, we were going to do one together, but we just never got time. So um, I picked up quite a few albums over the past few days, and I'm pretty excited. I think I got some pretty good stuff. Um, first day, we went shopping. What the heck did I get? I'm trying to think here. Oh, I bought some CDs. That's what it was. They're right here. I grabbed um, Roy Buchanan, the amazing Roy Buchanan, one of the great guitar players of all time, in my opinion. It's an anthology set. I don't have too much Roy in my uh, collection, so uh, I got this for eight bucks. It's got uh, two discs. And uh, the man is an amazing guitar player. I got a chance to see him live a couple of times and uh, before he uh, his demise. And um, yeah, amazing. I was really happy to get that. Uh, what else did I get? I bought... So Bruce Coburn uh, just put out a box set, limited edition box set, autographed, that you can get on his website. Uh, I think it's three or four albums um, that... Uh, I don't think we were ever released on vinyl before, and um, pretty limited edition, but it was expensive. It was 200 and some bucks or something to get it, and there's one album on there that I wanted, Charity and Night, which they are releasing individually from the set, but it's 50 bucks, and I didn't have the CD, so I found the CD for $4.95. This is a great record. It's one of my favorite Bruce Coburn albums. Uh, excellent my favorite bruce coburn song is on here called pacing the cage which is awesome there's also a documentary on bruce called pacing the cage that if you can find it and source it it's well worth watching um and i also picked up a leonard cohen album that i did not have in my collection on cd but uh the songs of leonard cohen his first album um yeah happy to have that because uh i pretty much I've got a pretty good collection of Leonard, but uh, I, for some reason I did not have the first one. Um, then, the next day, we went to Coburg, Ontario, which is about half an hour drive west of us, to my friend Tim, who owns a great record store called Zap Records. And uh, I picked up three albums from Tim. I saw Mazzy talking about this album the other day, and then just the light bulb went off and said, I don't have this album anymore. I used to have it, but it's a great record. It's a Rough Mix, Pete Townsend and Ronnie Lane. Um, it is on the Atco label. Just a wonderful record. I mean, it's so good. And it's in pretty darn good shape. I can't see a mark on it. I haven't had a chance to play these yet. Today it's going to be record playing day. Um, I also picked up a Tom Waits. I'm trying to get my Tom Waits vinyl collection up and uh, I found this one uh, a used copy of The Heart of Saturday Night. Tom Waits. Um, again, they're on Asylum Records and uh, I cannot see a mark on it. It looks clean as a whistle. So it looks brand new. So I'm pretty happy about that. And last but not least, I'm really happy about this one too. One of my favorite Canadian bands is Blue Rodeo. Um, Blue Rodeo's first album, an original pressing from 1989, Outskirts. Now, when I grew up in Toronto, anybody who's from Toronto will know this. On Young Street, the main drag in Toronto, there was two downtown record stores in the 60s and 70s before HMV and all that, the two main ones were A&A &A Records and Sam the Record Band. They were like side by side. And um, this still has an A&A &A Records sticker on it. Pretty cool. 
Get this uh, on the risk disc label, whatever the heck that is. But uh, this is a great record, great band. I was really excited to get that. Okay, so we came home with those and everything was fine. And uh, yesterday I was driving Jack home. And uh, he lives in Oshawa, or Whitby, Ontario. And we pass uh, the, the city of Oshawa on our way through, which has a store called Deja Vu Discs. They're a UCD video and games store mostly. There's three locations, one in, in the east end of Toronto, one in a town called Ajax, which is about half an hour east of Ontario or of Toronto, and then in Oshawa. Um, they have a guy who comes in with who sells records and he stocks them up with used records and they just they're not organized at all. They're just sitting in bins and you go through them. They want six ninety nine a record. And there's probably close to a thousand records sitting there, maybe five hundred to a thousand. And you gotta go through and find some gems. And I found six gems yesterday, all in amazing shape. I was so excited. So first one I got was David Bromberg Band, one of my favorite artists as well. How Late Will You Play Though? This is a double live album from Mr. Bromberg and his band. Um, great record. I had this record back in the 70s when it came out. There's the band. David had a great band, man, I'm telling you. It's a great record. It's got some blues on it and some bluegrass and some folk and just a great great album it is on fantasy records and again it's a pretty solid record i don't know what the gram that is um fantasy records two albums again i cannot see a mark on this it looks like it's never been played so i'm quite uh pleased about that um, I bought this. I'm a big fan of Brian Auger and Julie Driscoll and the Trinity. There's an album called Open, which is an amazing album. It's uh, Brian plays uh, organ, Hammond organ, jazzy, bluesy, uh, and Julie's just a great singer, Julie Driscoll. So this is called, this is when her name was Julie Tippetts. Brian Auger and Julie Tippetts Encore. It's on... The Warner Brothers label. And uh, they do songs on here. Don't Let Me Be Misunderstood. They do a song, um, Pop Staples song, Freedom Highway. They do Rope Ladder to the Moon, which is a Jack Bruce, Peter Brown composition. Uh, Lock All the Gates, Al Jarreau. Um, yeah, very cool. I'm uh, really interested in hearing this one because I love her voice and I love his organ playing. It's amazing. Leon Russell. You can't go wrong with Leon Russell. I don't have any Leon. Oh, I got Carney on vinyl. I'm sorry. I got Best of Leon. Absolutely mint. Absolutely mint. I can't believe how good this record looks. It's on uh, MCA Records. Great label. Love that label. It looks like nobody ever played it. It's amazing. Love me some Leon. Nothing wrong with Leon Russell. I'm going to throw those over there and put them back later. Big fan of Rare, Rare Earth. I have Rare Earth in concert and I have uh, Ecology. But I did not have the Get Ready album. Um, this album has the long version of Get Ready that takes it over... The whole entire second side. It's on the Motown label. Get ready is 21 minutes and 30 seconds. It's crazy. These guys were just such a great band. Rare Earth. Get ready. A uh, band from Toronto from the 70s that I was in love with. And I, they had three albums. Uh, I've got two of them. They're really obscure. Like it, it, nobody had ever heard of these guys. Uh, original Sloth Band from Toronto. Great band. They do. Uh, they're like jug band blues, jazz, just old kind of traditional gospel music and stuff. Great band. Awesome. 
the Whiteley brothers, Ken and Chris Whiteley, were the main guys. Um, original slot band, 1978, this is called. And, uh, yeah, this is the, the last of the three that I didn't have. They do some great songs on here, like, uh, like uh, Sunny Side of the Street, St. James Infirmary, Move Your Hand, which was a big Joe Williams song. She's Funny That Way, uh, I'd Rather Drink Muddy Water, Working in a Coal Mine. And um, what else is on here? Uh, sloppy Drunk, Blues, Nice Work If You Can Get It, which is a George and Ira Gershwin tune, and Five Long Years. Great. So it's really a, a mix of gospel and blues and old standards. And it's a great, great band. Glad to have that. It was hard to find. Last but not least, I got... Yes, Tales from Topographic Oceans. Now, there's some ring wear on here, but the records, again, man. I even took uh, the cleaning machine to them this morning just to make sure, but I don't see a friggin' mark on any of these records whatsoever. If they don't play perfectly, I'll be shocked. Um, great label. I'm a big fan of this album. I know that's Jack, one of Jack's favorites uh, when it comes to the Yes catalog. So, um, yeah, $6.99. Um, each for those six records and two of them were doubles so I'm quite happy about that uh, next and last I got you guys know I'm on a big monkey's kick so um, I found this CD monkeys the missing links volume 2 now I understand this is coming out on vinyl on record store day I think uh, July 17th or something there's a a volume one and volume two coming out on vinyl so this is just outtakes alternate takes whatever from uh from monkeys recordings so uh i'm interested in hearing this it should be kind of cool um there's a story about all the tracks and everything so should be interesting listen that's it guys i'm pretty excited i'm going to spend the day in the basement listening to records so um, if I don't see you again, we'll definitely see you on Monday morning for the wrap-up. And, oh, I am going to be on with Larry Graves, the stud, Canadian stud muffin, and Paul from Fit to be Tie-Dyed. We are going to do a three-man show tomorrow on Larry's channel at 4 o'clock. It's going to be live, I think. So I am so excited about that, Larry you have no idea how honored I was that you asked me. Larry is an icon, a trailblazer on YouTube videos. And uh, him and I live in the same town, and I am just thrilled. I can hardly wait for tomorrow at 4 o'clock. And so please tune into that. Peace out, everyone. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.